What's it been like as a retro freshman to jump into this lineup? Uh, I mean, so far it's been fun. We've only had a couple of opportunities so far, but you know, I'm still kind of getting used to it with my routine and everything, but I think it's going pretty good. How have you seen you and your brother progress? Because I mean, I if you look at the recruiting rankings, like yeah, relatively high rated recruits, but to jump in the lineup as freshmen, both of you is impressive, especially beating out guys who were maybe expected to get the spot from the outside perspective. Yeah, um, I'd say a big thing was the off season. We put a lot of work in in the wrestling room and the weight room, uh, just trying to get as best as possible. And then this year, you know, weight wise, uh, was really, really a big thing to kind of get dialed in, get that routine going. Dresser said you lost a coin flip between you and your brother to get to 33. He won the coin flip, which is why he got to 41. Is that is there any truth to that, or is that the decision you guys made? Like, hey, I can uh, drop the weight. Yeah, no, that's not true. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he's just a little bit bigger than me, probably like five to seven pounds just he's got about an inch on me so that's where that came from he's always been one weight class above me okay talking with like everybody in the room all year long or in the preseason it was guys that were standing out were you and your brother and in, in particular your guys's work ethic and your drive where does that come from just that constant every day going out and just giving it your best um i don't know if there's like a specific thing that it comes from i think it's just routine that I've been doing for a while now. It's just try to get as best as possible and, I don't know, give everything I got during the practice. Is there a bit of just, you know, when you have someone like your brother, like an equal where you go back and forth that just kind of maybe elevates that a little bit for you? Probably, yeah. It's uh, it's always been like a little, I don't know, type of edge kind of thing that uh, if I see him going super hard at practice, you know, if he's super tired or be sweating a lot more than me, then... I guess I didn't have uh, that good of a day compared to him. When I've interviewed brothers who wrestle at a high level in the past, I always gets to the question of, you know, how many tables do you break at home or furniture knocked over? I mean, did you guys have a lot of those scraps uh, at home or, or no? Not really. Okay. Uh, a lot of people ask that question. We didn't really <laughs> fight too much. I mean, obviously there was wrestling around the house, yeah, yeah, yeah. but so there was wasn't any. It wasn't like you were getting aggression out of each other. Yeah, there wasn't like uh, <laughs> things getting broken and whatnot, but. There was a little bit of wrestling going on. A little more careful with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We obviously talk about you and your brother as a pair, your twins. What makes you guys different? Uh, than other twins? Or than... than you other. as individuals. Oh, um, I don't know. I guess you got to ask people on the team. Uh, a lot of people, even them, they don't know. But looks-wise, I'm just a little bit smaller than them. It's hard to tell, but... I think we're different people, get a little how, bit different uh, personalities. How often do you have to tell, like when you're in practice or just walking around, do you have to be like, I'm not Jacob? <laughs> Good bit, to be honest. <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's some people that know uh, 100%, but there's also, you know, that group of people who can miss a couple of times, especially if we're turned around or something. Yeah. So you said you feel like you guys are really different what makes you different from your brother? Not even speaking from like a wrestling standpoint, just as people. I don't know, that's, to be honest, that's even a hard question because we do do everything, you know, the same, even our day to day, what time we eat and stuff. But I don't know, I think it's just, personally, I think maybe I'm a little bit different than him in terms of, I don't know, he might be a little more serious or at times I might be more, a little more serious, stuff like that. How would you describe your bond with him? Oh, it's tight. Um, yeah, we have a really, really close bond. We, I mean, like I said, we do everything together all 24 hours of the day. So, yeah, it's it's like nothing else. You ever accidentally put on like the same uh, outfit or something? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> like in practice, uh, I think that's uh, something that also doesn't help people in the room is we'll wear the same, the same exact thing. thing. I mean, our shoes will be different. He's got a little <laughs> bit of uh, white shoes going on. So I think that's the only thing that's different. But yeah, a lot of times we wear the same thing. Are you guys taking classes together, like same schedule, or is it a little yeah. different? Yeah, we yeah. got the same schedule. What are you guys studying? Mechanical engineering. Okay. Yeah. How are you liking that so far? I like it. It's tough, obviously, but, you know, getting through it. What are you looking forward to uh, Wisconsin on Sunday? Um, I think... I wrestled that same guy last year, uh, Rivera. So if that is the same guy, I'm looking, 
I know he does a bunch of funky stuff, so I'm looking, kind of keep it in my own, my own match, try to keep it at my own pace. Don't let him get to anything he wants. What about the environment at Humboldt High School? What, what kind of intrigues you about that? I don't know. I've never been. I didn't go to any of the duels last year, and I didn't. Uh, I think I watched it, but it seems like a fun place. Seems seems loud. So. Anything else? Thanks. Thanks.